Oh, hi all. Welcome back to the, the workshop really today. Um, my favourite old BW that you see me using. And she's in bits. Oh no. <laughs> um, friend of mine, well the friend that's doing up the case. It's been so warm of late recently that um, we need that casing on the case. <laughs> Shot blasting. And so uh, when it cools down a bit, I'll get it done. I'm sure it will come. And so it, we came down, he came down yesterday and he and I thought, right, I had a bad oil leak on this tractor, very bad oil leak. And um, between the, the main case and the, um, and the back axle um, on, this, on, this, on this flange here. They seem to leak, I've seen a lot actually that leak in this area, down here. I don't know what it is, I, I suspect it's because they flex. There's only, um, there's only two, hold that like that, there's only two dowels and I suspect they flex a little bit in a twisting motion between the axle and the, um, and the back of the main case. And eventually, as well, the, the gaskets dry out on these old tractors. This tractor will have never been split before. It was the original shellacked paper gasket in there. And um, so, yeah, this oil leak, leak's getting, been getting bad. And um, so I thought we'll have it done. Um, so it's a fairly simple sort of operation. First job, remove your seat and platform. Take off the uh, drawbar, um, remove underneath that plastic is the um, obviously the power lift equipment and um, etc. Just lift it up. Ooh. There we go, power lift. Um, yeah, take that off. And then the next job after that is to make sure you get well chocked. If it's a BW like this one, the wide front end, you've got to chock them in the in the front, like that, so we can't twist. And I have a couple of bottle jacks as we have there, or um, a trolley jack would do, I suppose. And it's just a bit like splitting a tractor for a clutch, really, just gently and carefully. But uh, if you do attempt it, man, you know, remember some serious bits of weight kicking around to make sure you get everything double checked and right you don't want it falling on the floor if it's a, um, a narrow front be it a BN or just a standard B with the two wheels um, slightly different process there uh, I've seen pictures where people have um, made brackets and bolted them to the frames frame and um, so it can't twist on itself all sorts of methods really but again common sense heavy weights you know use a decent bit of angle such as what's on the floor there if you're going to do it so yeah so but of course with the usual thing <laughs> strips it down yeah that gasket was leaking in here and then I noticed this gasket on this um, differential quill was really it was leaking as well so I did that um, I've done my brakes up again, just tidied them up, cleaned them up, we were snatching a bit. And then the major thing, but I knew about this, was the, um, the drawbar has been hanging off this tractor for a while. It's just been, um, there was a bracket, up, see that upstand there on the drawbar? On that side it came off, the bolts had all um, come out of the casting. So what I've done is I've um, re-tapped them, put in a bit heavier heavier bolt studding um, on that side as well. There's only one side was bad, but I, I, I've done the other side as well. Um, you might recognize the nuts there, the nuts you find on the back axles of these tractors for their old implements. Um, so yeah, tip of the day, if you want to make sure you get that whole square again, I can use a mag mount drill and just gently um, drill them out with the mag mount. Because if you try and do it with a hand drill or something, I'll guarantee it'll not be straight. But the mag mount 
fits nicely onto that flat surface and uh, doesn't move yet so that's a good tip so yeah so that's what we're on with uh, hopefully we'll uh, we'll get it all back together again this afternoon it's about the 20th of 20th of May I think um, I knew, I've been using this tractor for uh, going on some road runs and um, it, uh, as I say, that leak's just been getting worse. And I think it's also a tow-back trailer with it as well um, when it's doing a bit of work. But generally, they, they do leak there. I've seen a few just sweating up. Seems to be on that side for some reason or other, just in this area. And when, generally, nine times out of ten, if you split them, you'll find the gaskets either popped out or it's just worn or it's just non-existent. So. But yeah, that's what we're on with today. So soon be back to the other one. Um, it's uh, taking shape a bit more. We also need to be getting this case put back together as well. Because um, <laughs> A, we need the bits out of the way. And B, uh, we'll start to forget <laughs> how it goes back together. So, you know, I need to get that case, that main case there, shot blasted and tidied up um, yeah so it's just been so warm with us extremely warm unnaturally warm really so. anyway there we go thank you bye